All right, what is up, everyone? Today, we're going to be taking a look through history as we play 10 old meta decks. So we're going to be playing like 10 of the older older school meta decks uh, that dominated the meta during their time. We're going to start with the Avatar deck. Um, we're probably going to do five Nod, five GDI. And yeah, you'll see you'll see uh, some of the some of the classics here. So yeah, we're going to start with the Avatar deck. This was what the Avatar deck used to look like back in the day. When, um, when, uh, Stealth Tank had 10 second reload, you could basically just use Stealth Tank as your primary anti-air and it was fine. Like, you didn't lose to things like Talons because 10 second reload was so fast. So yeah, this was, this is what the deck used to look like. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to start with and, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go through the decks. We'll go through the decks as we do it. Okay, a large part of this deck's dominance was also the fact that the people who used it on ladder had massive level advantage. Like, that was definitely a part of it. Like, this was the deck Big Boss used when he had, like, plus three on everyone. So, like, the deck was dominant during that meta, but also it was dominant because he had gigantic level advantage. So our opponent's gone double harvester. Tanks also were 60 back then, I think. I'm trying to decide if I want to go double harvest as well. I guess I have to because I'm playing Avatar. Scarabs. Wow, okay. I feel like I'm feeling a lot more confident than I was five seconds ago. Oops. Mislick my wheels and I'm gonna lose them. Feels bad, man. It's not a big cost, though. Alright, so we should be able to win this missile fairly easily, it looks like. Barring some uh, surprise tech switch. I didn't do that. I'm just gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna get over here. Scarabs again. Alright, and now we just try and go Avatar as quickly as possible. So yeah, now we just kind of chill and wait for the Avatar. Confessor. The Confessor prays. Confessor not great versus Avatar, can, can confirm. Second Confessor, feels bad man. I wonder if I should even be killing this Confessor, it might be best to kill the half. Boosted Scarabs. <laughs> There's a Basilisk, no surprises there. I'm trying to bait him into boosting it so my self tank one shot. Oh, the way he just did it. Feels good, man. And we'll kill the halves, and then we'll just kill the base, and that's game over. Alright, great job, Avatar deck. The thing, the sad thing about Scarabs is you can actually just do this. You can just walk straight into them because they one-shot the Scarab. Like, barely even hurts the Avatar. So yeah, Avatar, Avatar doesn't care about Scarabs at all. Okay, so now we're playing the Surface Borker deck. So this is Rifle Missile Jump Jet, Pitbull, Talon Borker. This, obviously, this deck is much worse than it used to be. This was like Surface's pre-Razorback Borker deck. This deck used to be really good when... This basically was all about when Borker was super busted. He used to play this deck. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is use the Harvester and the Rifles to block for this missile. So the Venom can't get at it. Then I'm going to double missile this dude. Yeah, that's right. Nice rush, my guy. Alright, feels good, man. So obviously we double missile this Venom. We kill it easily. We can move in and kill the Laser Drones. And this should buy us enough time to get the Pitbull out. I guess we'll just rifle here. If he switched tech, it means he's no half. He can't afford to have a harvester and go barracks and air tower. Um, so what we do here is we switch to talons. And we send talon in. And then we follow up the talon with the missiles. Because he'll probably back this up. No, he isn't backing it up. Interesting. He probably goes bites here? No, banshee. Wow, okay. Oh, this is a mistake. I need to kill this missile. I need to kill this rifleman off, even though there's a banshee here. Because obviously I've got to buy space for my missile troopers. Alright, here we go. Get some more missiles. Get the Talon over here. Now, Surpers used to play this deck in a really weird way as well. He would go like... Um, he would go... 
rifles for the entire first missile and just try and save for a first missile Borger. Obviously, against someone rushing, I don't have that luxury, but that's how he used to play the deck. So he would literally make only rifles for the first missile, and he'd just, like, chill and try and stall to Borger. And then he'd try and Borger you to sweep the first missile. Alright, so this Spartan guy is dead. There's no way... He... Yeah, he hasn't got a harvest, so this game is over. We're gonna get a Borger just to kill off whatever he's got. But he's super dead. Crystals are calling. There is a half. I mean, the game is already over, so it really doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll boost it. I don't actually remember if it boosts reload time. I think it does boost reload time, but doesn't drop bomb speed time. They keep changing. Like, it's really inconsistent on units what boosts to, to try and balance. Anyway, easy win. Enemy base destroyed. Alright, so this is the old school CKM. This is the old school CKM Chem Jade laser drone deck. This deck was dominant for a short period of time after Pipples got nerfed. Like when Pipples got their lock on speed nerfed, this deck was completely dominant for a while. Uh, this deck is so much worse than it used to be though. Like chems are much worse, bikes are worse than they used to be, laser drones are worse. Everything in this deck apart from rifle and laser is worse than it was when this deck was dominant. Like, even the Jade is worse than it was when this deck was dominant. So yeah, everything in this deck got a nerf, pretty much. Um, yeah. I guess we'll go laser drones against the Chuggy. We'll park these two in a concave, and then we'll go laser drones. Oh, drives right into the concave. Brave man. It's a brave dude right here. Does not care for his Chuggy at all. Bikes? Back in the day, bikes would just be, like, so bad versus laser drones. But obviously things have changed since then. I don't even know if you can spam laser drones versus bikes anymore. You might actually have to text me. It's not looking like it's going very well. It used to be that you'd easily win with laser drones spam versus bikes. It was just like completely dominant. It looks like that has changed. Alright, so we'll bring some lasers down here. We know he has a chuggy as well, so we'll be careful of that. I'm gonna get another laser drone because I'm anticipating a chuggy. Yeah, there he is. Easy, easy prediction. Alright, nice. So we get that missile. Now, generally speaking, with this deck, you would go hard on the base if you won the first missile. So you would send, like, everything at the base. Like, lasers, laser drones, phantoms, bikes, chems. You just start throwing missiles at the base, regardless of whether or not you had chem warriors. You can't do that anymore. Is he going for my base? What a nutter. Anyway, that strategy doesn't work anymore because um, because the, all the base damage has been reduced. Just, okay, dude, come on. Like, you can't possibly think you're going to win a base race against Jade Chems down a missile with Seth. That's insanity. How can this guy possibly think he wins a base race here? Alright, well, GG, man. Like, <laughs> How can you ever think you're going to win that base race? That's crazy. Alright, so now we're on Air Mammoth. This deck is so much worse than it used to be as well. This deck is another one that's hit, been hit by the nerf bat a lot. It's not so much that specific units have been nerfed, although like the, the Mammoth is nerfed and the Mohawk are nerfed. That's about it. But the deck is just so much worse than it was before. Uh, I actually don't mind too much him rushing me because it does stall the missile. I'm guessing he's going to go double halves as well. That's his first half. He's not going to get this harvester. And we'll go double half because we're mammoth, so you do need to go double half early. I'm going to move this one to the corner, make it hopefully more defended. Alright, we're going to tech switch into drones right away as well. It's not like there's any reason not to switch because we only have one building to switch into. So there's not a huge, like... Normally you don't want to tech switch first, but... What am I going to counter with? Like, not air tower? <laughs> All of my units are air tower units, so I have no choice. There's a giga cannon, so I guess we're going mohawk. I'm going to boost it as well, because I want to kill this giga. Wow, that giga went down real easy. Alright, let's get another mohawk for the chuggy. If he has stealth tank, that hard counters almost my entire deck. Like, only the Mammoth really beats the Stealth Tank. 
Stealth Tank is definitely really good against this deck. Stealth Tank Basilisk actually used to be like the hardest matchup for this deck. You would always lose to Stealth Tank Basilisk. Alright, well, it's looking pretty good so far. We won first missile, we got two halves, we're on like 150 tier, we've got the tech lab open, we're actually about to make a mammoth. We're so far ahead that I think we can survive a mammoth freeze as well. Which is where blue stacks freaks out because the mammoth is going at the wrong speed or something. I don't really know what causes it. Anyway, let's boost this mammoth. And then I guess we'll wait and see what he does. Because we might need to go hammerhead here. Go straight to the half. There's the mammoth. For it. We need to need the hammerhead as expected. And maybe even do the bug where we shoot the air unit with the main cannon if we can time it right. Now you move too far away. Uh, get another mammoth, and yeah, no one's beating two mammoth tanks. That's just insane. Once you get to 2 minutes 30, the income on 2 Harvester is enough that you can make like 3 mammoth tanks a minute. Which is obviously completely unbeatable. Alright, cool. Mammoth for the win. Objective complete. Okay, so now we're playing uh, Triple Lot Air, which is the dominant deck upon Shade release because Shade was super broken. This deck is still pretty good, like Triple Lot Air is still decent. It's really good in Nod Mirrors, so I'm pretty happy to see Nod on the other side of the battlefield. It's not great versus GDI generally, but yeah, it kind of smashes Nod Mirror. Gen usually smashes Nod Mirror. I'm actually very bad at playing Shades though. That's like one of my uh, critical weaknesses in Rivals, is my Shade play is very weak. And that is actually a pretty big weakness because shades are super important for winning nod mirrors. This guy really wants to go for my harvester, but I am going to send a venom to stop that. Stop that nonsense. We have a flamer, obviously venom can handle that. Get this, uh, get this guy off the path. Unblock the lasers. Alright, easy first missile. He has double half though, so no surprises there. We'll get another venom. And then we wait and see what our opponent does next. Definitely want to be on the pad though. Temple of Nod, great choice. Most Temple of Nod units die to Shade, so we shouldn't have any problems here. Let's see if this Widowmaker even gets a shot off. Zero shots! Feels good, man. Alright, what's next? Back, back we? Phantom. Seems reasonable. Oh, I'm gonna make my own Phantom. I got Mad Moolah. I'm gonna EMP his Phantom. I'm gonna back up and let him shoot something different. Uh, and then we'll just kill the phantom and win the game. Easy claps! And another Widowmaker. I don't understand how anyone plays Widowmaker. This unit is so horrible. It's like actually one of the worst. I think Scarab is the only unit worse than Widowmaker in the whole game. Alright, so now we're playing Suzaku APC. Which is obviously a classic old school deck. It's kind of been removed from the meta by Bike Rush APC. The mirror match heavily favours the Bike Rush APC deck, so the Suzaku APC deck has basically disappeared in favour of that one. Um, but this one is better against some things, but generally speaking, the stuff in the meta it's worse against, so yeah. Ooh, double half. Alright, so we want to be charging. Now again, normally I say about don't tech switch, but if your opponent has gone double harvester, it's safer to tech switch. Because they spent 60 on their half, which is the equivalent of your tech switch. So you don't really fall too far behind by switching. Unit lost. Also, you want to put pressure on. You want to put a lot of pressure on people who go double half, and it obviously switching tech puts Unit pressure on. Ready. So we're gonna play like Orca, Orca Throne Swarm. Bro, just lost. let me uh, let me kill your bikes, man. Don't be don't be difficult. All right, let's run away from the other bikes while we're reloading. Throwing swarm to go over here. Alright, we've reloaded now. We turn around into the bikes and then run away from these ones. Try and hide behind our missiles. I don't die. Ah, I think he got me. 
Feels bad, man. Oh well, not a huge cost. Let's get an APC and start moving it forwards. Trying to set up on the pads. Ooh, already in a cyborg? That's not good. Alright, we're gonna swarm it with all of our anti-infantry units. It's actually taking a bit of a beating from the drone swarm, which is nice to see. I really need to be charging this missile. There goes one of the cyborgs. Hopefully he doesn't have flame tank, that would be horrendous. Avatar! That is also kind of horrendous. I guess we're going Orca. So we're going to run this away. Just kind of need to buy time against this Avatar. So we'll get the Drone Swarm on the pad. Get a couple more Orcas and just try and take it out. Wow, this uh, Avatar is not dying easily. Die, please, Avatar. Your Avatar, please die. Alright, there we go. Nice. I think that should be... Hopefully that's enough. Oh, this organ needs to reload right now. Oh, another cyborg. We might be dead here. That avatar cost way too much time to kill. Yeah, we're in trouble now. This is uh, this is kind of one of the reasons this tech has fallen out of favor as well. It's just a lot worse, I think, than the bike rush deck. I was able to kill the avatar, which the bike rush deck would really struggle with, but the bike rush deck probably wins the game before the avatar matters. Oh, now we've got to kill a second avatar, and he's got two cyborgs now. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. I didn't play this one great. Oh yeah, I'm super dead. There's no way I can beat this mini-tech unit. It's not, in, not this late in the game. Maybe if it wasn't a two-pad map, I would have been alright, but... It's too easy for him to stall the pads with two tech units. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> we will continue to play and see how it goes, but... We got a lot of tech now. There's also no way he can't afford another avatar. Like, if I kill this one, he'll just make another one right away. Ooh, the cyborgs didn't even die to the avatar explosion. That's unfortunate. Wait, can I block him out? Basilisk? Can't block that out. Sad. How am I gonna win this game? No, I'm pretty dead. Yeah, too many, too many tech units. Oh, I, I didn't play that one great. Probably should have been able to win that. Defense lost. Mission failed. All right, so now we're gonna play classic old school flame scorpion deck. So this is even with Banshee. It's got Banshee and Flames. So yeah, this deck is <laughs> this deck is like complete trash these days. But uh, unfortunately, we are playing the old school meta decks, and this was a meta deck. This was a meta deck for a long time. Up against Matt, who is playing Jay. So we're gonna go wheels until we can tech switch into Flamers. This deck is bad versus Stealth Tank and Catalyst Gunship, which are two pretty popular decks, uh, two pretty popular units right now. Uh, okay, let's get the flames. Okay, I'll just let that guy die to Tib. Looks like he's gone double half. Don't really want to make another flamer in case he tech switches into air, but I do need something that kills right the, the lasers, so I haven't really got a choice. Alright, let's get a tank to go off these harvesters. This is one of the reasons that tech was really bad for a long time as well, because you couldn't defend your harvester with riflemen and lasers, because your opponent would just have flames and tanks and they'd do this. So for a long time tech was bad because this would happen to you and you'd just get shut out of the game. Obviously that's not the case anymore because now you've got like tech lab reduction and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier to, to make it to your tech. But yeah, this used to happen a lot back in the day. Right, 
Could you make a man? It's more flamers in case he goes cyborg or something. It's also like if you think about how tech decks tend to win, they're like they make like the last game, right? The guy just made cyborgs and it was really difficult to kill cyborgs because I only had uh, rifles and drones. If I have flamers or shocks, those cyborgs go down really easily. So it's like even though he gets two tech units out, he actually got three tech units out. When you have flamers, you you, you can like flamers and tanks, you can kill all, all tech units. Just you can just straight up fight them. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're on the old school Razorback Titan deck, which was uh, which was dominant for a really long time. So our plan is basically just missiles, missiles and um, missiles and Razorbacks is what we're trying to do for the entire game. Again, a lot weaker than it used to be. Razorbacks received substantial nerfs. But if we get to late game, we can just make Titan. He goes double half. I kind of want to go double half as well because I have Titan. But then it looks like we're going to win first missile if we just don't go double half. So it's probably better just to focus on winning this missile. And then we can consider going double half, or even just saving up for a Titan on one half. This guy's only made wheels this game, I think, so... Yeah, he's only made wheels, so he's gonna have a lot of money. Like, he's gonna get to his tech pretty quickly. One would assume. It's an artillery. Yeah, I'm gonna need Titan to fight that. Online. Not that close to Titan. Alright, I'm gonna go double half. It's gonna take me forever to get Titan. And this artillery is gonna dominate until I get to my Titan. Yeah, I have nothing that fights artillery at all. And there's a cyborg now as well. Should've just gone double harvester. Shouldn't have shouldn't have gone for the first missile. Yeah, killing this cyborg is legitimately difficult now. Yeah, this was a bad this was a bad decision not to go double half earlier. Alright, so we'll get a Titan. We need to like tank the artillery with the Titan. Oh, there's just so many cyborgs. Yeah, I think we're screwed, honestly. I think we just misplayed by not going uh, double half sooner. We've got to break through some cyborgs so that we can get to the artillery with our Titan. So we'll go multiple Razorbacks. Yeah, we have to kill this artillery to have a chance. But I can't get through the cyborgs to kill it. Liang is also obviously like completely useless now. <laughs> oh, go, 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 Titan, go, 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 get it. Get it, Titan, get it. Nice. All right, now we're back into a chance. This single bike over here, just chilling on my harvester, is almost certainly costing him the game. Like, that is why he's losing right now, is because he has that unit doing nothing. I guess I should uh, Liang this Titan, since I'm playing Liang, might as well get some value out of it. Get the Razor back at the same time, it's pretty good value. Alright, we do lose the half, but, you know, who cares. I'm gonna need another razor back to fight this uh, cyborg. I actually don't need this hit ball. Oh, he has an avatar as well, that's kind of scary. Bro, really? I only got one hit off against Boosted? That's nuts. I did not expect that to go that way. There's another Avatar coming as well. I think we're dead. Man, Avatar is uh, wrecking these classic decks super hard. Yeah. 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 Let's try and hold the pads with uh, air units, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, block, 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 block. Can you back on here? Win the game, feels good. Alright, sweet. <laughs> Single bike still down there. Just chilling. Crossing him in the game. You are victorious. Should have gone uh should have gone double half in that game alone. Okay, so now we're on the old school Fnatic Scorpion deck. Like the OG Scorpion deck, uh, Fnatic deck even. This deck is also a lot worse than it used to be because Scorpion just ain't Scorpion just ain't it anymore. Scorpion is no longer the the king of, of rivals because Shade has uh, Shade put him down. But yeah, this deck was really good for a pretty long time. Looks like he's gonna go into bikes. If he goes into bikes, I'll probably go tank. Yeah, there it is. I'm just gonna go straight into tank, I think. We got laser, we got double wheel for that. And then we'll go for as well. Alright, Scorpion cleans house. Scorpion really is the, the, the mightiest unit in the War Factory mirror. Uh, looks like we're gonna win first missile here. Nice, there's the shade. This is the uh, the reason that this deck is no longer the best deck. This deck was just like the best deck for a really long time and then shade came out and now this deck kind of not that good because shade just annihilates Scorpion tank. And catch it. Alright, so we're gonna have to go um have to go phantom here. It looks like he's playing triple not air. Which is really good against this deck. Like, just really, really strong versus this deck. Oh, it's meant to be lasers, not fanatic. Whoops. Yeah, this deck, this deck really, uh, the triple air nod really did a number on the fanatic decks. Really shot them out of the meta game. Which is sad because I used to love this deck. This was like one of my favorite decks. Boosted the wrong thing. Yeah, I meant to boost the tank. Yeah, you can you can see how the shades just completely annihilate this deck because you're so reliant on Scorpion, and Shade just two shots it. It's really sad. I hate Shade. <laughs> I wish Shade had never come out. This was like my favorite deck to play, and then Shade came out and just completely stopped it being a meta deck at all. Like now I have to play Catship decks because of Shade. It sucks. Alright, so we're gonna make a lot of lasers. It's actually looking pretty good at the moment. Mostly because he stopped making shades. Like once he stopped making shades, I won again. I don't know why he stopped making shades. I guess he was scared of the Phantom, but the shade has EMP, so you can just go and kill the Scorpion through a Phantom. It's not a big deal. Okay, final deck is going to be the one of the oldest meta decks is the GDI Sniper deck. Another deck that is a victim to the Nod Air releases. Uh, you basically don't play Snipers anymore because Catship came out. So, yeah. <laughs> this deck was this deck was very good for a very long time. It was dominant in beta when Dogs first came out. This was the best deck. Um, and I actually told my buddy Coda to play it. That's Coda with a K. And he was one of the only people to get 25-0 on like the first big rivals in-game event. Because he was playing this sniper deck. I also played this sniper deck, but my snipers were level 9. And I lost a couple of games. I lost a couple of mirror matches because my snipers couldn't win mirror matches because they were under level. Feels bad, man! Actually, I think I lost one game to that. I lost another game to something else. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, my snipers were level 9. That's how long ago this was. <laughs> I didn't even have high enough level for snipers in event. Alright, so he's got a bunch of rhinos. Predator's gonna make short work of those. We will also get a pitbull. 
Because we don't have enough money for another Predator yet, but I would prefer to have just made a second Predator. Jumpu Jets. Well, luckily, we've got the sweet snipers which counter Jumpu Jets pretty hard. So this shouldn't be a problem. Dude, your Jumpu Jets are not going to live long enough. I like the attempt, but never going to happen. Like, if I tried to move, maybe he gets that, but why would I move when I know I'm going to win <laughs> in time? Yeah. Unlucky, mate. Snipers? Okay. This is another reason that Jump Jets took a long time to become popular, I think, because Snipers were super popular. And Snipers Shrek Jump Jets. Oh, I should probably finish off the single missile, dude. There we go. Feels good, man. Alright, Big Louie, what you got for me? If he has nothing that can beat Predator Sniper, I'm just gonna make Predator Sniper forever. Why, uh, why mess with a working formula, right? No, don't kill my snipers. This is looking pretty good, not gonna lie. I think, I can't imagine how I lose this game from here. There's these, these old school decks are like, if you look at the composition of the decks, like the units that are in them, you really get an idea of why tech was kept down for a long time. It wasn't just the change to tech lab costs. It was also the fact that like, what tech units are really going to beat Sniper Predator? Like you can clean up zones and cyborgs really easily with snipers. You can clean up most tech units with Predators. Like a stacked bunch of Predators will kill Titans and Rockworms. And usually if you kill the first tech unit when it comes out, you just end up winning the game. So, like, the deck even has Orca for those things. Like, Basilisk would have been a little bit of an issue, but that was about it. So, yeah, this, this is another reason that tech has become way more popular these days. It's just that people are playing cheaper units. Like, all of the non-tech decks are, like, really cheap aggro. Like, dogs and rifles and Talon. Like, look at this deck. Of course this deck can't kill tech units. It has no heavy-hitting units in it. Like, Jump Jet is the heaviest-hitting unit in the whole deck. So anyway, that's uh, that's a that's a large part of why tech is super uh, super strong now. It's not just the cost reduction. Obviously that helps, but it is it is both of those things. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time.